Moomer. Oh, God. Oh. I'm going to have to start again. On will 2. Okay. I'm doing that cheat code. Well, I don't know. Call it whatever you want. Cheat code or whatever. But, yeah. I'm really scared about entering in that code because I can't help but worry that I might, like, put it, enter it, you know, do it wrong and end up restarting the whole entire game. I'm telling you right now, if I do that, do, um, do that on accident, I'm just gonna quit this let's play. Like, I'm not gonna get, like, really far and then start all over again because I didn't put in the code right. Here's the question, why didn't they just have it, like, a simple continue screen? So you like, oh, oh well, like, you know, so you can start where you just died. Well, I mean, at the start of the world, oh, that you died in. Yes, I know, I suck so hard at this game. The controls are slippery. Yeah, I'm going to use that as an, ex as an excuse. I'm not, oh, what? No way. I have four of these controllers in case I break one in frustration, so I'll be good. Oh! Almost jumped into that. Nah, I'm just kidding about breaking the controllers. I doubt, well I have got four, but I doubt I will get that mad at this game. Like, I don't know, this game doesn't, oh, like I said, I haven't completed it before. I've heard it gets difficult, but... I can't really see this game get, you know, getting really hard to the point, so... What? Like, what? No! Oh, yes. I thought I didn't put in the code right then. Okay, I need to concentrate on this. I, I think I was talking about the difficulty or something, but... Oh yeah, about breaking my controllers, but yeah. Um, I don't know, Mario doesn't seem like the game which would be, like, hard enough to, uh, so hard that you're gonna snap your controller and stuff. See, I've, I've played a bit of, uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 on an emulator, but I didn't get very far. Like, I did the first, like, two levels and then I just went off. Not because I was, damn. I didn't go off it. Eh? because I was bored or again fed up with the game I just went off it because like I knew I was gonna do a let's play of it in the future so I kinda wanted to leave the levels as a surprise for when I later play them in the let's play so yeah a lot of people might be oh that is ridiculous okay I'm just gonna kill myself from purpose I had one life left until the world reset, so I could either like do a few levels, you know, then die and go back to the start, or I can just do it right now. Like here we go, I'm gonna do it this time. I have confidence. I'm gonna be patient and I'm gonna concentrate. See, um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I want to do... Oh, oh, screw it, whatever. Um, another Let's Play for the NES, which I want to do in the future, will be a Let's Play for the Castlevania series. Uh, for those of you who don't know, you know, what you do in that game or whatever, I don't know. Yeah, click the annotation right now, which is appearing. I'll link you to, like, a review of the whole entire series, which is, once again, done by James Wall. Yeah, and if you, if you don't watch James Rolfe's videos right now, like, if you're not already watching him, like, he's, I guess he's pretty well known on YouTube, but if you don't know who he is by now, I don't know, just go check out, go check out his videos. Pretty entertaining, and they're, and they're pretty much what got me into, you know, like, retro gaming. Oh, just paused the game then on accident. But yeah, I am... Yeah, he is just basically, I guess, inspired me, I guess you could say, to get an NES. So, was it worth the 90 quid? Yeah, I'd think so. Um, I was going to say this earlier, but I, I died, but, so I'm going to try and say it now, but... A lot of you might be wondering 
what's the point of buying an NES if you can just use an emulator? Like I said before, Google it if you don't know what that is. I'm sure you'll find out in seconds. But, I don't know. I guess I just prefer the... F yeah, that's a good question. I don't really know. Like, I had an emulator. All the games I have, like, I just bought off eBay. Like, I had them on the emulator, and I could have played them for free. As opposed to, like, paying 90 quid for them. And I have no idea why. I guess... I don't know. It's just, like, not the same experience to me. I'm sure that doesn't make much sense, but... I don't know. I don't know why it's just... I guess... I guess I just want to... I prefer to have the real thing. I mean, I'm sure emulators aren't like 100% the same as the games. I'm not 100% sure if what I just said is true or not, but I'm not quite sure how they made the games, like, you know, into your PC or whatever. Whoa, that's close. Uh, I'm going to concentrate for this bit. This bit's kind of tricky for me. Whoa. Oh, I jumped. I swear, I swear I pressed the jump button. I s promise you I pressed that button. What the hell does this controller want me to do? It's like, you've got to punch it for him to jump. Nah, of course you don't. C the controls are fine, they're responsive and stuff. I mean, you t all you got to do is like lightly tap the A button and he'll jump. But just then, I'm sure I pressed the A button but he just didn't jump. It's kind of annoying. I'm just gonna take this. Oh, not this bit. Like, whoa, 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 that was close. I know, like, some people collect all of those uh, gold coins as well, but I don't really see the point. I mean, I know, I just can't be bothered to, you know, wait around and try and collect them all. I know a lot of people do. Uh, if you do, of course, there's nothing wrong with that. You do what you wanna do, but. I know, it's just not for me. I'm just... I guess I'm too lazy to collect them all. Not quite sure what purpose they have, from aside from giving you, like, a higher score. Or, actually, I think they give you an extra life if you collect a certain amount, but... I'm not 100% sure now. Hey, so now we're getting closer to Bowser. Well... Yeah, it is Bowser, right? Or maybe he's one of his minions, I'm not sure. Okay, oh, I'm gonna break this. Aha. Oh, wait, I was on it then. Yes. Oh, it's pretty easy. And thank God for getting rid of this world. I gotta say, one thing I like about uh, doing a Let's Play for an NES, well, since I've never uploaded NES footage to YouTube before, and I'm using a H HD PVR, so I have no idea how bad the quality is gonna look. Because from what I've seen, I'm playing this like the NES on a 32-inch HD TV. I mean, clearly this isn't actually gonna be HD because it's an NES. Like it's an old console, so you know, clearly it's not gonna be in HD. Uh, but yeah, I'm not quite sure how this is gonna look on YouTube. Um. I don't think it's going to be looking too pretty, to be honest. And um, but the, on the plus side, I will be able to upload all of the parts of this very quickly, I think, because, well, it's not a HD file, that, that's the simple reason. Because clearly I'm not playing in HD, it's an NES, they didn't have HD back, you know, around those days, but... Uh, I don't think people realize how long it takes me to upload, like, the Let's Play parts. Put it this way, um, uh, okay, a 30 minute part of a Let's Play. It's a HD file and it takes a very long time. Um, before I can upload it to YouTube, to YouTube I've got to render it. And it takes about 6 or 5, or I'm not, sh I'm not, I'm not sure what the exact time is, but... It's something like five or six or even seven hours to re to render a 30 minute HD part. And then even once I've done that, then I can upload it. And to upload it, it takes a, like um, 
pretty much the same time. So, at first I've got to record it. Then I've got to spend about five or six hours rendering it. Then another five or six hours to upload it. So all in all, that's about 11 hours to upload, you know, to fully get one part onto YouTube. And that's on only because it's a H because it's a H um, HD file. And of course, um, this is going to be like standard definition. So, oh, I'm looking forward to uploading this. Basically, like you know, I got my fingers crossed. I'm assuming it's going to upload within like a, you know one hour. Like I'm assuming like a 30 minute part of this will go up within an hour or something like that. Which of course, like compared to the HD files, it's gonna be like you know. It's, well, I'm gonna have a good feeling uploading this because of how fast it's going. Or at least I'm assuming it's gonna upload really fast. I don't see why not. Oh, that was close. Even though I've been like speaking, pr like I don't know quite a bit lately. Um, and I haven't really been concentrating that hard, but I, no, I, you know, didn't do too bad there. Eh? I don't think. Like, I went through those levels pretty quickly, but yeah, I'm kind of impressed by the way I how fast I went through that. Okay, so I've got two lives to get through this castle, or else I've got to do the world again, which of course is something we do not want. Oh, whoa, whoa, no! Yes! Yes! That's close. I'm not looking forward to this bit. I don't really see how I'm gonna survive. Can't break that. Whoa, no! Wait for it. I'm waiting for him to go back so I can jump on that platform. Oh, damn. Come on, quit. Oh, no! That's sly. Honestly, I did not know the flames could go down there. I thought I was safe. Because obviously I didn't have one of those uh, mushrooms, so... You know, I'm, I was like the smaller version of Mario, but... So, you know, wh whenever he shot a flame, like a fireball upwards, he couldn't hit me, but... Oh, obviously, now I know he still can hit you. Oh god, this is... Hence, I've got one life left. I'm gonna stand back because now I'm n I know what he's capable of. Oh damn! Why didn't I jump? And now I'm gonna have to reset the world. Well, on the bright side, I got through these le you know these levels pretty quickly, so hopefully they won't give me much trouble the second time round. Mind you, I think, to be honest, I think I was just getting lucky a lot of the time. Whoa, on my first go. Oh, damn. I'm not getting that frustrated, at least. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of annoying that I've got to do this. Whoa! Oh. Seriously, guys, I'm, like, I'm having trouble, like, adjusting to how slippery, like, Mario is. I mean, if you like let go of the D-pad, the, you know, the arrow keys, DAMN! Okay, I'm just gonna kill myself, I'm not getting through these levels with one life. Come on, kill me. Right. Here we go, let's do that continue code, and there we go, let's get going. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Christ's sake, I need to stop rushing. I am getting frustrated. What was I thinking? Okay, I'm gonna kill myself again. Sorry guys, I don't know why I just jumped into it. That was my fault. Yes, it was. I am so gonna mess up this continue code one time. I guarantee it. I'm just going to be so frustrated. What? He walked... Oh. Go watch that again. I hit him on the head. He walked right. Then he walked left instantly. So try and see it from my point of view. Because he was walking right. I assumed he was going to keep on going right. 
of course, all of a sudden he turned left and I was not expecting that, so I didn't have any time to jump. That was so unfair. I gotta say, this game is, uh, you know, it's really primitive, yeah, uh, you know, it's especially when compared to now, you know, the games nowadays, but it is strangely fun. Like, it is really fun. 